This is Adam Gorney, Rivals.com with a five-star countdown here with new five-star quarterback, Keelan Russell. That 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 sounds right, right? Like you felt uh, through the summer that you had kind of put the work in. It, it Just kind of when did you start knowing like, hey, maybe I am like among this top group of guys, you know? Uh, yeah, like I really felt, you know what I'm saying, when I started going out competing against the other top guys, I really felt, you know what I'm saying, my confidence started to blow up inside me. I was just, you know what I'm saying, given the aspects of just like – when I go out and compete, I'm competing with the top dude. So <clears throat> I was just uh, is that is that is that any worries in the background? Oh no, you're 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 all good. Okay. Um. But um. But yeah, when I'm competing with the top guys, you know, I was doing, you know, what I'm saying, like perfect. You know, I wasn't having no hesitation, and I was just going out there and balling. So. I knew at the end of the day, I was like, I'm up there with the top top of the guy, so why not be the five-star? Why not be, the, you know what I'm saying? Why not be the number one guy to come out of everything? You know what I'm saying? That's just the, that's just my um, thinking going into every, you know, camp, every stage. Like, like if you see it on Twitter, people will be like, he had the best summer of all quarterbacks. Yeah. And I agree because I went out there and competed, and it, it, it boosted my confidence. It boosted, you know what I'm saying? my talents a lot. So now I'm, I'm like very much sure, like I know like I can be a five-star for sure. Yeah, yeah. Great at the Elite 11, great at Rivals five-star. Definitely didn't hide it at any events throughout the summer. It was definitely impressive performances. Keelan, walk me through your recruitment because an early commitment to SMU, you know, obviously going to throw the ball a lot there. You know, Rhett Lashley is a great guy. Everything seems to be going well. Then sort of Alabama comes along. How, how did it kind of all work out? And and when did you kind of know that, hey, man, I, I got to make this switch? Yeah, so when I first committed to SMU, um, I always tell people it was kind of, you know what I'm saying, a relationship thing. And it was kind of like, you know what I'm saying, based off of time management. Um, just, you know, SMU was one of, one of my best offers. And they had, you know what I'm saying, they had built the whole city around me for real. Like, if you was to ask one of the coaches, if you was to ask Coach Lassie, he would tell you, we gave the key to Ke Keelan for the whole city. So it was more relationship-wise um, over, you know what I'm saying, everything. I trusted them the most. Um, they gave me the most loyalty and everything. So, um, yeah, but going into, going into this year, I knew a lot of stuff was going to change for me as, you know what I'm saying, being on the field. Um, being on the field with the I knew he was going to probably, you know what I'm saying, get a lot of the stuff open up for me, uh, especially going into state, you know, with the hardest, you know, the hardest bracket in America. So, yeah, especially going to state for that, you know what I'm saying, 6A, D1. We, I just knew that a lot of stuff was going to open up. So, my eyes were kind of open. I told Coach Lashley in January that I wanted to up my recruiting back up. And, you know what I'm saying, start getting a little bit more offers, start seeing a little bit more schools. Uh, because I wasn't, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't really done. You know, that was the start of it. So, <clears throat> um, summer came, as you know, summer came. Uh, June 2nd, I believe, was when I made my verbally commit to Alabama. I flipped to Alabama. Um, it was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, meaning, like, it was a lot of, you know, feelings on SMU, like, hey, man, you got the Alabama offer, um, you got Oregon offer, you got this offer, UCLA, Ole Miss, like, you have so much potential to go do a lot of things. And, you know what I'm saying, it kind of stuck in my head, but at the same time, I was like, I want to build a legacy at SMU, yeah, I did. But it's, it's a point where it's something that's given to you, and it's a point where it's something you got to go take. So, I feel like when Alabama told me everything, the plan for me, the platform, they all gave it to me. So I I really just took it and ran with it because it was like a one in a lifetime opportunity for them, uh, for me and for them. So uh, I knew that it was going to be a lot of stuff that was going to go on recruitment wise, meaning like I was probably going to have to shut down my recruitment after this, um, everything like that. So and then we get into the summer, man, when I tell you, I pro after the Elite 11, it was like a lot of coaches hitting me up, talking about, hey, man, hey, man, we always believed in you and stuff like this. Uh, even, new recruit, even new recruits, you know what I'm saying, trying to hit me up, saying, hey, we want you over here, we want you over here. Uh, we want to offer you, get you on the, you know what I'm saying, get you down here. But, you know, kind of felt like it was kind of like an evil turn for me, meaning like, 
hey man, you um you see my talents now, now you want me. So I kind of you know locked in. I I solely locked in with Alabama's. Yes, sir. I, I've written I've written this, and maybe you agree or disagree, but. The comparison is is Jaden Daniels. Now you're a little thicker than he was in high school. He he's still kind of a skinny guy. But do you kind of see that comparison, or do you kind of see someone else? Oh yeah, I see Jaden Daniels. Like I get this a lot. Of, I get this a lot for real. If you don't think, but I see I see a comparison a lot. You know, what I'm saying mobile quarterback can hurt you anyway. Um, I I I most definitely think that's a great comparison to me uh, and to him, only because like. Um, where we where we came from at the most, like you said, we're skinny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We broke the eyes from a lot of schools. Like, and I feel like in my in my journey of my success or whatever, yeah, most definitely like we're gonna be relatable a lot for sure. And he was the number two pick, so yep. <laughs> can you match that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice, nice. Again, new five-star quarterback there. Keelan Russell here with Adam Gorney for Rivals.